What's up guys, it's 13 Line and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we uh, did a proper investigation over at the crime scene uh, to get any leads on who might have actually killed Mia Faye. Even though we practically kind of knew who it is, we don't know their name. But yeah, we're going to go into court and take on Mr. Miles Edgeworth and see Miss April May's testimony. No, before we begin, you're probably wondering, why am I playing the trilogy? Well, you see, yeah, I don't think the emulator is the best thing to use, especially on a since my computer isn't the best. So I thought I'd give the Ace Attorney trilogy a try. I already had to complete the first um, thing again, and well, yeah, that was a hassle. But yeah. Without further ado, let us get into the trial. September 7th at 10 a.m. in the district courthouse. Alright, let's go. I just hope it doesn't freeze in, in the courtroom like it does on the emulator. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Look at him. Look at Mr. Sephiroth. I mean, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I dare not show any signs of weakness today. Or he will be on me in an instant. Mr. Urgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of a crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we, if we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer of the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Look at him, just... And there's Gummy. In all his glory. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoes. Sir! I'm a detective in charge of the homicide down in the precinct. Sir! Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir! Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Nice. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due, due to the struggle by a blunt object, sir! The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinker, found next to the body, sir! It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir! The court exhibits the statue as evidence! They're still calling a statue? Well, we got the floor plans now. No, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. All right, let's go. My face arrest. Can't do anything about the lag, but I hope it's not like in the emulator back in the first episode. As soon as a phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Murphy, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Rat. I immediately arrested Miss Murphy. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw 
Miss Murphy at the very moment of a murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say? Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination? What? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Ow, I just got hit. <laughs> hey, Mario just threw something. How was she allowed that? How did she get away with that? What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It works lots of times. <laughs> I should have expected Mario would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Alrighty. Something's the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Oh yeah, the thing about the trilogy that's different from the DS version. You won't have the little bo uh, bottom screen that shows you just the eyes of the lawyers. Yeah, that will be the only downside. But without further ado, let us cross-examine Gummy. Alright, so... Uh, we can't exactly press... Yeah, there are two people there already. Well, we know that. Immediately arrested. Let's just uh, press him on that statement. Why is that? What's your reason? Oh, wait. We should probably press him here. Hold on just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. She did it, correct? Oh yeah, he did say that. Huh? Did... did I say that? Me? I heard you I heard you say it. You did say it! You said it. <laughs> Not a single expression on that man. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in pink claim was hard evidence? What? Miss Mia isn't suspicious. And she sure isn't pink, pal. Are you sure about that? Pink hair, pink top. Well, I guess she is. Yeah, exactly. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes! Uh, sorry, I got the order of the things mixed up in my testimony. Your Honor, sir, there was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Alright. Hard evidence, what do you have to say? After securing the suspect, uh, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on the piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. That result showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, uh, the victim wrote the killer's name. Yeah, I somehow doubt that. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor? <laughs> yeah, man, why didn't you? Ah. Uh, uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about you, sir. You should be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Alrighty. Wait, really? I don't get to say anything? Alright. Let's do this. Uh, 
You see, now, if we, if you, everyone paid attention to the last episode, remember how uh, on the autopsy report it says that the death was in instant. Yeah. So if we were to, oh wait, I had the right button. Wait, what? Oh, right. There we go. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want to clarify for. I want you to clarify for me here. You said the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note that she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying. What? Well, well, this is one of those lawyer tricks, now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the real killer? Ah, oh, what do I know? I'm just a thingy, um, a commentator playing the game. You have it backwards, detective. But backwards? The victim is the uh, person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate a death due to a blown from a blunt object. She died immediately. But no, but ing your way out of this one, detective. I like that pun. <laughs> I'm gonna use that next time. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately couldn't have had the time to write anything down. Oh. Ooh, I like that better than pains, Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? But when? Uh, the day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being. Oh my God, he's smiling. That autopsy report is. Out did you, Your Honor? Out did you, Your Honor? Out did you, Your Honor? I only got it yesterday! But what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. But that wasn't by the other one! Death was almost immediately due to a blood blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Hmm, clearly he must have pulled some strings. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have uh, time to write Maya. That is all. I see! Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you had something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, do you look shocked? Something you want to say? Detective is a sham. That's all I want to say. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you uh, give me a faulty rep Exactly. Huh? If it's yesterday, I investigated yesterday. You should have had an updated one. Ah, uh, Detective Gumshoe? Uh. I'm disappointed in you. I didn't have the wrong report like that. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. You are a thought, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. Oh yeah, and thus begins the trend. Well, just the uh, gag of Edgeworth, um, not Edgeworth, of Gumshoe losing his salary. What? But, but, uh. <laughs> right now, Gumshoe is just like a piece of paper, and Edgeworth is the guy just ripping the paper. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Well, 
Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes! Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the wit let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Well, unfortunately, I am going to end it here. I hope you lot enjoyed this episode of Phoenix Rice Attorney, and if you did, why not you like? Why not you subscribe? Hit the like button, and I'll see you lot in the next episode. See ya!